your song, Sarah, didn't do much for me. Start your statue, just a grim reminder. Glory days are gone. The haze is stronger than the sun. I got a gun for home invaders. Johnny Gamage, murder cops, not guilty. Front pages, it's nothing surprising in this pit. Pressure cooker, crazy from the heat. The haunted home is begged to eat. I take the street on the mission to reach my destinations. Living, worried about Gertie, about the overcrowded prison. For my mouth is wisdom. What awaits for the city's victim? Once your time served, far too many dying is burned. We had Stars of Clemente, Kalajuri, and Webby, many fallen heroes. I think it's something in the water. Once the Allegheny boils, the city's in turmoil. Middle Eastern's burning oil over soil in the desert. Yo, this shit's enough to make you lose it. If you let it, yo, I love it, even though I want to leave it. It's pathetic. Gateway to the east. A steel city turned to rust. Iron city is gritty. We'll kill the cops, burn his bus. Hits burn. Empty mills, tension builds, stress kills. Trying to make it through the summer for real. Midsummer's night, streaming that I'm leaving. The city of fall of champs Iron city is gritty Dear Lord, I only want a chance Pittsburgh Empty mills, tension builds, stress kills It's another hazy summer for real Sometimes it's so hard Just dealing without the blocks Revealing without these blocks Never could understand Killing you, I'm so gone Killing me, man Torture plus my man's up for Dying to the bit Bleeding this war We broke bread Feds held it over your head It sickens me Though I'll never forget Day one, cook coke I stirred it since then Never washing my hands Expand from Iron City East side to the G-U-N East Hills, they had that shit I called it Blue Bonnet Back when crack ruled Now with stamp bags and high Schools realize genocide, friendly fire, merch through your long passages, and then size drastic. They first thought it's deep and slash gate. Two felonies, one case. Got priors, you know they gon' hate. Iron City be the place we connected the point. Tell your man he better come with gate. Don't wait to the east. A steel city turn to rust. Iron City is gritty. We'll kill the cops, burn his bus. Pittsburgh. Empty mills, tension builds, stress kills. Trying to make it through the summer for real. Midsummer's night, streaming that I'm leaving. The city of fallen champs. Iron City is gritty. Dear Lord, I only want a chance. The gate way to the east. A steel city turn to rust. Iron City is gritty. We'll kill the cops, burn his bus. Pittsburgh. Empty mills, tension builds, stress kills. Trying to make it through the summer for real Midsummer's night streaming that I'm leaving City of fallen champs Iron City is gritty Dear Lord, I only want a chance Pittsburgh Empty mills, tension builds, stress kills It's another hazy summer for real Yes, welcome to Steel City, or stay here in Pittsburgh is coming to a close soon, as well as uh, our stay in 2K23 coming to a close. This is the Go Home Show. Here's your match card for tonight. We got Cowboy John in the building. We got Missy Harris, Odds, Judd, Matt Storm, J Dog. Wrestling Mama, Fight. Daniel Barry, Fight. hit the thumbs up, just sit back and relax, Fight. let's get it, here's a little awestruck, personal war.
All right, here we go. We got Misha Ramji versus Devin Wolf, our first matchup. Mark Caliber versus Shifty versus Andy Price. Blood elimination. Triple threat elimination with the ladies with Lashana, Bellandora, and Hot Fire Rose. We got Rob Machete versus Wally versus Azriel Black. And uh, that one. It's gonna be a table match. <laughs> Tiffany Sky will go one on one with Hot Another blood elimination match because you guys love the blood so much. It's Jester, Brian LG, Jamar, Nightmare, and Kelly Mavericks. Gotta make a bleed to succeed. The women, get your shovels out. Eight woman shovel match. Shulky, Cougar, Emily, Patty, Kelly, Firestar, Carmen, and Whisper. We got Matt Storm, Miles, Stanley Ward, and JW Caliber. It was originally for a Crazy Eight title shot now. For a lethal title shot in 2K24. Plus a friendly fire rumble bonus match. Strap it in. Strap it on. Strap it up. Strap it down. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever makes you happy. Here we go. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing good today. We are rocking and shocking in the place to be. Jesse Jack Hammer is here. For the ladies, all 24 of them are in 2K23. This will be everybody's final match. Unless they're scheduled for Saturday. Everybody's Saturday. Everybody here today is probably not Saturday. If they are, it's a one or two people. Good to hear that you're good. Glad to see everybody in the live chat hanging out. Slanging and sanging and banging. And we're going to sit back, relax, let the AI take you for a ride. We got some fun tonight. We're going to wang chung tonight. Gentlemen, the BBG Paints Arena. Crack a cold one. Eliminator beer, preferably. It's going to be a wild and wacky ride, like always, people. Got to strap it in, strap it on for the ride, baby. Oh, yeah. From Melbourne, Australia, born in India, our first competitor is Amisha Ramji. Fighting out of Dudleyville, the daughter of a mob boss, the million dollar prize fighter, Devin Wolf. Well, hey, I'm doing good now that you guys are all here. I hope you guys enjoy the show. We got a bunch of fun stuff happening tonight. This is our go home show for 2K23. 
Yeah. Yeah, after tonight, it'll be uh, Saturday. will be the final show on 2K23. I mean, we'll do the throwback shows and stuff like that, too. Here we go. Collar and elbow tie up and out. Devin with a big me on Misha. We will be switching over to 2K24 next week. This Saturday being the main event. Uh, we're thinking just starting it in 2K24 right on Tuesday. We were going to do a couple more creation strings, but there's really not more I got to create. Waiting on a few more creations and a few more people. Pretty much using the same matches that we used this season in in 23. So the match format and stuff is going to be pretty much the same. Uh, however, we'll have you know your uh, your ambulance match, your casket match here and there. They could be associated with the uh, upcoming world tour, the Olympics. Off the rope, Devin connects. So our version of the world tour this year is going to be uh, Olympic themed. We were talking about doing uh, the death, which is submission for death and dominion, Europe. I mean, I mean, we did it before based on the the uh, continent that we fought in. But this time around, I mean, we do have an ambulance match. We do have a casket match. What I'm thinking about doing, we could still do like the submission and such, is we'll have a champion for every different category or ride. Wally, Wally, Wally. For every Olympic event, I should say, right? So we're going to have our own version of the Olympics. And you guys, I guess uh, the job that you'll have to do is probably pick two events. I'd, I'd like to see everybody in more than one event, but we can't do too many because we have 80 or 90 people on the roster. Triple, 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 beat, beat, beat in the building, building, building. What's up? What is happening? Matt Storm's in the house as well. Yeah, the train thing was discussed already. Um, it's a possibility. Up top. Now, in the, the combat kingdom here, there's uh, not too many working trains as there were back in the day, but that, that is a, a very good possibility. <laughs> Uh-oh. Flirting with the five count. Coming around the front here. And now back into the ring. So we'll settle in to 2K24 next week. We already have a couple matches. We kind of started uh, open challenge type sh stuff. Uh, I'll let those who win today have uh, some say. It's not like a guaranteed you get the match. But if there's a match that the people that win today have that they want for the first 2K24 show, well, it will be one of the first. It'll be that week. There first. Does someone wants to pick their first 2K24 surfing? Uh, if we had a way to do surfing, we're more thinking along the lines of the ambulance match champion, the casket match champion, the backstage brawl champion, and the parking lot champion. Just events in uh, as many locations and variations that we can uh, figure out. <laughs> and then what we'll probably do is set up eight different events and have those eight event winners face off against each other. Maybe have everybody in uh, two different events. 
a butterfly and a there's the Lord Lord Shiva's spear. I wanted to get it right. Lord Shiva's spear by Misha. Now she's looking for the Ram Buster. Here it is. Ram Buster going for it. Devin stops it. Butterfly in the building. Butterfly flying high. One, two, and a two only. The fans on their feet here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, we've been camping out in the Steel City here for the last couple weeks. Door for the transition into 24. So Steel City will be one of the first shows in 24 as well. And Devin Wolf just joined the company here in 2K23. But she will end it with a victory. We're at Steel City Showdown. Been one hell of a season for Misha Ramji to do that challenge against the entire Battle Queen roster and the debut and now some new fresh meat, fresh new blood in the Battle Queen division. Her name is Devin Wolf. All three are Magnus, the Silent Disciples. They might not be bitter enemies, but Mark Caliber, if you remember, did bring in Andy Price to the company, but Andy turned his back on Mark Caliber. Shifty and Mark Caliber, if you guys remember, both joined the MAD late, but around the same exact time. Then when Mark Caliber turned, and started his own asylum, which brought to us a carnival and eventually a whole friggin' circus. Oh boy. Now we have a blood elimination match. MSW, there he is, he's in our main event. British Gamer, Dylan Travis, there he is, former LTD fighter, always welcome our alumni. Shout out to you! British Gamer, Dylan Travis. Around these pods, Dylan Travis, baby. All right, we got MSW in the house. We got Desi Jack Gamer. We got Butterfly. We got the aforementioned British Gamer. We got JW Caliber, Odds, Devin Wolf. Her first win here in LTD will be her, also her last win of 2K23. But that's all right, she's already ready in 2K21. <laughs> Get your votes in now, the live chat poll. Right now it's all over the place. And I'm going to have to talk all the way through Shifty's entrance because I know it got copyright uh, warning the other day. We'll see if I can do it. Let's get down there. It didn't used to get copyright. That's the thing. Well, Shifty's song finally got so damn popular. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to find a new Shifty song. But right now, Shifty... Out of seven votes, 57%, he got over half of them. Too. We got Caliber got a vote, Andy Price got a couple. Here we go. Coming out first from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. 6'2", 232 pounds. The scientific and calculating one. The stat man, we've known him as the Joker, the Crow, the Cactus, the Zombie. Dr. Patchwork, if you will. One of the Magnus Asylum Disciples. He's a two-time Crazy A champ. 
two-time lethal champ, former tag champ, world champ, G6 champ. He is the one and only Mark Oliver. Man, we already know Mark Caliber back in full force, 2K24. This is probably one of the smoothest transitions we've had. I mean, keep in mind, we've had some almost apocalypses and a lot of trouble. The following entry in is between. brought to you by Midnight Hobo, the world's most dangerous liquor. <laughs> From Columbus, Ohio, seven foot tall and 357 pounds, he's a drunken dragon clown. Uh, uh, his name is Shifty. Ha <laughs> ah, ha, yeah, he's the tight eyed mofo with the rainbow afro. Drink his midnight oboe. Come on, get up and get down with the clown. And ship. Yeah, ship. Yeah. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't dance, the shifty dance with the no damn friends of mine. Let's get it. Oh, Charles Roberts, come in, doing the shifty dance. Oh, just look at Carmen doing the shifty dance as well. Everybody doing the dance. I said, shaking your pants and say, oh, get up, get down with the clown. Shake your groove thing, shake your groove thing. Holy sheep shit is right, Shifty. Here comes our final competitors. Like I stated, all three members of the MAD. Shifty uh, is in the Lethal brand. Mark Caliber also in the Lethal brand. This man will be shifting over to the Empire brand along with his compadres, the G6 champions, Atticus and Azriel Black of the Madness Asylum Disciples. From Auckland, New Zealand, 5'8", 242 pounds, a hybrid anti-hero, the ominous, Andy Price. Crushing Kelly's in the building. Here we go. Oh, you got to make him bleed to succeed. Gary Grayson, our referee uh, for this uh, matchup here tonight. Crushing Kelly's in the building. You need the JWE logo. It's all right. It should be up. Oh, you need it up on the new game? I could put it up in the new game. After the show here, I'll upload it to the hashtag JWE uh, hashtag <laughs> to Community Creation. Shout out to you too! <laughs> uh, you too, not to ban you too. Although I like you too sometimes. Big right hands by Mark Caliber here. Unloading on Andy Bryce. Now, the idea here, well, it's extreme. It's hardcore. Big chop and broccoli. Pinfalls don't matter. Submissions ain't shit. Make them bleed to succeed. It's a blood elimination match. You guys love the blood. The blood, the blood. <laughs> Good to see everybody hanging and singing out there in the chat. Who is out there? Blade charge. MSW, thank you for being members and supporting the channel. You guys rock. Oh, trying to bust someone's friggin' head open. Now, we are getting ready for the final match, the final show. So, either 
Tuesday, tonight, or Saturday would be the final matches for everybody here in 2K23. So yeah, it was a lot of the same stuff on 2K24, just a little bit different. But we will be utilizing, like I just said, the ambulance match, the casket match in the Olympics. The upcoming LTD Olympics have been um, announced, I guess you could say. Released, the information, the, the press release has gone out effectively immediately when this show started. So if you're just tuning in as we go over to 2K24 starting Tuesday, Oh, eat some canvas. He didn't bleed though, did he? Hard to tell with all that makeup and fruity pebbles in his hair. He's just spanking him with a damn chair right now. Damn, LD's in the house. Lady Devil's in the building. What's happening? Our tap out princess is here. Oh, did Shifty bleed? Oh, Shifty Blood. Shifty Blood. Well, I talked over his whole entrance. If that's what I got to do, I normally do anyway. That's what I normally do for his entrance. It's just when I play it by itself. Holy cannolis, it's down to Mark Caliber and Andy Price. Keep in mind, like I stated before the match started, Andy Price was brought into the company... Andy Price is a member of Mark's Commonwealth Wrestling. Andy Price uh, coming in recommended by Mark Caliber. You know, Andy took the normal initiation and uh, verbal lashings of the fans and his peers about his size, how small he was, but all oh, he made people eat their words really quickly. Proving, oh, who he was. There's the blood. Mark Caliber does it. But Andy Price turned on Mark Caliber, the man who brought him into the company. Andy Price did do a lot better after he joined the MAD. But the old MAD battle here tonight is giving someone an extra opportunity to fight this Saturday. And his name is Mark. Caliber. Mark Caliber now takes a Blitzkrieg title opportunity. There's two more of those left to hand out here tonight. Plus, we're giving a little future endeavor. A good time. A good time. Time for the ladies to take the stage. Here in the Combat Kingdom. This will be a elimination matchup. Bellandora on the left. Lashana Brooks in the middle. Hot fire rose on the right. In the chat right now, make your bets. Is anybody 2-0? Anybody out there take Devin Wolf and Mark Caliber so far? Let's see how you do. Take your picks, place your bets in the chat. We'll see. If anybody can get a little winning streak here tonight. Jesse's got it so far. Good luck, brother. Making her way out first from Baltimore, Maryland. Representing Dragon Family and Lala John Network. She is the one and only Lashana Brooks. Yep, Butterfly, you did win. Caliber won. So Butterfly, uh, you got your win. Is that your first match? Or did you guess the first match? Devin Wolf for Misha Ramsey. Jamar is in the house. Shout out to you, Wolf 
welcome to the show. You're tuned into Blaze Radio. Hey, we're about to crank this shit up, folks. Butterfly, I want to know. Butterfly, guessing her first match. We'll see, man, in the live chat when you're here. It's on the honor system. Hey, if someone sees select one thing and come back and say you're undefeated, they'll call your ass out there. Let me tell you that. We got a competitive bunch here, but that's what it is. Here in the combat kingdom, uh, known as leaning towards death wrestling. Well, this lady here, created in the Monstar Factory, now she hunts the very monster she was created with. She's the Wicked Good Witcher, now residing in Salem, Massachusetts. The Monster Hunter, Belle and Dora. Belle and Dora, uh, we knew her as Annabelle when she first joined. Just a very dark creature. Not, we didn't know a lot about her vicious little uh, Annabelle she was. Now, uh, Belle and Dora, the Monster Hunter, she is the Wicked Good Witcher. She is out to, well, take out all the monsters. And I ain't talking about dinner and a movie, people. Come on now. <laughs> we got our third competitor, three-way elimination matchup from Kyoto, Japan. Hot Fire Rule! You ready? This is going to be a good one. There's the bell. Benita Applebaum. You got to put me on. Benita Applebaum, our referee. Benita, Benita, Benita. Hot Fire Rev's going right after a cover there on Bell. Quick kick out. Butterfly going for Bell and Dora in this one. It's anybody's ball game here in LTD. We got only the best of the best battle, hand-to-hand -hand combat here in the combat kingdom. LTD leaning towards death wrestling, where the only thing that's limited is the access, baby. You've got to be only the elite of the elite to get in and fight. For the top championships in the world. And rule. If you will. The Combat Kingdom. Those stable war champs known as Knights. We dubbed them the Knights of the Combat Kingdom. Our women's champ is the only one can be recognized as a queen. Our queen reigns supreme. Our king is her world champion. So while all the championships are great, the World Championship, the Battle Queen Championship definitely put up on a pedestal with more power, more glory to them here in this pre-apocalyptic world known as the Combat Kingdom. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. What a reversal there by Hot Fire Rose. How tall is Bell? Tall. I don't keep track of height and weight of the women. They, uh, no, no. I'm not going, what? I'm not going there. When do you hear height and weight for women? I'm not sure though. I'm not sure how tall she is. There she is, Hot Fire Rose getting fired up. On saying a kick out by Lajana. Rolls in on Bell. Hot Fire Rose is in. Oh, kick to the gut there. Stop. No, it did not stop, Rose. Look at this shit. Double up the gooch. Locks it on. Ah, bombs it over. Holy hell in a handbasket. 
Hot Fire Rose is on fire, but Lashana with two boots right to the temple of Hot Fire Rose to cool down that assault. In comes Bellendor with a desperation lunge at Lashana. And now double leg takedown, Bell wrap, wrap, wrap it away at the forehead of Lashana Brooks. Hot Fire Rose picking her spot, rolls in on Bell. Man, that, that little uh, segment we had there with these ladies going at it was pretty damn impressive. And they are not done, look at this. I always say when there's three is the magic number. When you got three in the ring, you can't, you don't have time to piss around and pander to the crowd if you get a move down. Look, right there, Rose moves in on Lashana after completing that maneuver and damn, what a takedown. And big right hands by Hot Fire Rose. Lashana's in trouble, Bell's in trouble. Noticing that Bell is not moving. But Lashana right back at it. All three ladies have been put through the ringer here so far. Down goes Lashana. Here's a cover by Bell. Bell and Dora. You got to dig deep at this point. All three ladies have to be exhausted. They have to be tired. They have to be hurting. You got to fight through the pain. You got to fight through it. The exhaustion. You got to power your way through that shit. All three ladies are going for it. Hot Fire Rose, and, and you take your breaks. That's right. If you have to, you gain your power. Take, take a corner. Step outside the ring for a second. Do what you got to do to regain your energy. Lashana doing it right here. But Plant Dragon. Oh, no, up top. Oh, my goodness. Hot Fire Rose with the Rolling Dragon, and she eliminates Lashana. Hot Fire Rose, that butterfly lift, twist cutter. Impressive. She hit it perfectly, and now she's taking it out on Bell. Rose is on a roll, I'm telling you, but here comes Bell and Dora. Here comes Bell and Dora. Bell going up to the top. Rose slow to get up. Changes her mind here. Looking to strike. The wicked good witcher has hot fire Rose standing in her way here. Bell has racked up some impressive victories recently. But hot fire Rose looks unstoppable here in this match. Plant Dragon. No, again, again, with the rolling dragon. That twist cutter, oh my goodness. Bellandora down again, Rose off the top with a splash. Got her. Hot Fire Rose has gotta be thinking now, what do I have to do to beat this chick? Oh, double chop to the shoulders. Spinning, he, back, heel kicking now, Rose. Trying to set her up. Could be time for that butterfly pile driver. The plant dragon. Oh, Bell saw it coming and fought it off. Back body drop. You're going to win with the back body drop. No. Uh, uh, he got it one. <laughs> uh, my finishing move, uh, it's the back body drop. Yes, I got the best back body drop in the world. How can you make a back body? You'd have to like throw someone 15 feet in the air to make a back body drop be their finisher. You back body drop them over the top rope and out, maybe. But if that's a finisher, then maybe for a rumble. <laughs> oh, Bell and Dora. Stepping up her game right now. Trying to fend off the assault of Hot Fire Rose. Bell in the corner. Cover made by Bell. Only a two count. Making progress. Progress ain't enough. 
Somebody's got to get the victory up top. Oh, Bellandora. Top rope again. Now what? No, oh, close line off the top. Rose ain't moving. That might have done it. Oh, boy. I did. No. Never says hot fire Rose that she kicks out at the last second. Rose trying to fight it off. Bell off the ropes. Running the ropes here is Rose. Now trying to get the offensive. Again thrown into the back corner. Bell and Dora forearm. Down goes Rose. Anyone's ball game here. What the fuck is that? What is that? The wing clipper. Bewitch, is that the wing clipper? One, two, and three. Bell and Dora wins. Wow. Hot Fire Rose was dominant that entire matchup. But Bell and Dora endured. She outlasted her competitors to pick up the victory. Check out the highlights. Hey, we're going to get some wood next, people. Big win for Bell, yes, indeed. Anybody's ball game when it comes to the Battle Queen division. The winner of the match, Bell and Dora. Hey, she's hunting them down whether they're monsters or not in the Battle Queen division. Jesse Jackhammer's 3 0. Butterfly got two in a row. Uh oh, uh oh. Table time. You got Wally. You got Rob A. Machete. And you got Azrael Black. They are fighting to get a table, to set up a table, and to throw their opponent through a damn table. Good luck, boys. Now first from Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. 6'1", 273 pounds, double O, agent. Agent double O beer. Rob A. Machete. I think I need a beer.
Wally. 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 From Atlanta, Georgia. Six foot ten, three hundred and fifty-two pounds. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. Bulking up and hulking up. He's a madness asylum disciple. It's Wally. Ah, get your wood out of my gutter. I mean, hey, gutter if you gotta. <laughs> Wally and Jamar, the Atlanta Aces, in separate matches here tonight. Brian cheering for Wally. Wally ready for action. Forget if this is Azrael's new music or not. A lot of you guys got new music. I like that. I just got to make sure I know which one's the new song. This might be his old song. Hold on. Israel Black with 73% of the vote. 18 for Rob, 9 for Wally. Now this match, I said the last match, pinfalls and submissions didn't mean shit. Well, they don't in this one either, but it's not about the blood. It's about the tables. Do we got tables out there? Is there any table? Yep, there's one. I see it. I see the table. You gotta put your opponent through the damn table, Wood. The Wood category will probably be a event in the uh, LTD Olympics. So, I mean, I can imagine we can have a backstage event, a submission event, a casket event, a ambulance event, a table event. See, there you go. We got almost all the events already for the Olympics. Leaning towards death Olympics. Every man and woman for themselves. Coming soon. There's a takedown by Wally. And another one by Wally. I might be a little more strict. There's gonna be some changes in 24. You guys, I, I'll try to make them as obvious and as noteworthy as possible and like reminding you that this has changed. But I will be changing a few things going in to try some stuff out. Try some things we never tried here in LTD, but why not, fuck it. And one of them is my characters active on the roster. Now, for how long? That's up to you guys. Because if they lose enough, I'm pulling them. <laughs> and bringing in someone else. If we have waiting lists, 
That's the first people that'll go. Sunshine that technically means there's one spot open for a Battle Queen division. But Sunshine will be on the roster. Tyson Parker, Schmoo. Both on the roster. And yes, for the first time in a really long time. I don't know how long my, my back's going to hold up. Your boy Blaze is back on the active roster here in LTD. That's one of the major changes. I don't know how long. But similar to the Monarchy coming back and fighting in that event, uh, the committee and myself have come to an arrangement. That me and my boys and girls can be in the Olympics, for fuck's sake. I had my characters in one event, and they won it. The Steel City Committee won the damn um, stable ward at one time. When I, I didn't have an eighth team, and I'm like, fuck it, I'll just put my people in there. And I put Blade Charge in there, too, because he's from Pittsburgh. So it was Steel City Committee, and they won the whole fucking thing. But the only one I gave a title shot to was Blade Charge. All my characters I didn't give. I don't like having my characters active on the roster. But we're going to try something out right in the beginning of 2K24 where Blaze, Shmoo, Tyson, um, they'll be active on the roster for a little bit. See how it goes. See, all y'all that wanted to fight me, I figured before I get too old, me and my characters get too played out. I'll give them one final run here. So yes, in a, a company that I've, I've verbally said a million times, I don't want to have a bunch of my characters. I will now have uh, five. It's just for an event or two. Event or two, that's it. We got a table up there. But now you guys all get to see Shmoo. A lot of people are asking about Shmoo and Tyson. But if anybody has their own company and they want to inquire about Shmoo or Tyson, uh, you can drop it in my DMs. I have not created the bald-headed little three-lettered Mr. Rapulski guy. And that's for a reason. I might not create him for a while. We need a break from him again. <laughs> I'm hoping one of the matches give us that. There goes Machete. Machete's out. We got two matches on Saturday where uh, Rex can lose his career, which will keep me from creating him in 24. If Shmoo beats him, there you go. Otherwise, Shmoo loses his hair. And then you got uh, Atticus Black versus Gav. And if Rex doesn't lose his career against Shmoo, he can still lose it in the Gav vs. Atticus match. Ha ha! Saturday's gonna be fun, folks. Who will walk away 2K23 with the championships? Who will be immortalized in this 2K23 game as the world champion? Will it be John Breakdown, the winner of the last event, or Big Daddy Beard, your current world champ? Could Jen Richards add another title reign, or will Goddess of Pain stay on top of the Battle Queen division? John Breakdown will be a busy man. He's also the Blitzkrieg champ. He'll be defending that title. Cody Hagen defends the lethal title against Matt Outlaw. Clinton and Count defend the tag titles. Matt Outlaw defends the Crazy 8 title. We got a wild G6 match for the ladies with Lita, Cassie, and Missy versus Selena, Jessica, and LD. It's just going to be insanity. This Saturday, the grand finale of 2K23. The Gathering Madness 12. We put 23 to bed as we head out with our new girl, 2K24. You can beat the holy hell out of each other, but you gotta put them through a table. We got two in the corners. I've only seen it done once. 
But I know sometimes they will put one up in all four corners, and that's pretty dope when they do. Put in the corner, Wally. Hey, you're set it up. Whatever you do to get the job done, Wally. Get in there, Azrael. Wally, you're going to have to throw him in there. Azrael, Wally fell into Azrael's trap. I'm coming to the outside, and now Azrael's idea is to torture Wally on the outside before finally getting him up there, in there, and through that one of them damn tables. So far, Azrael's plan seems to be working. Azrael Black. Toss and Wally like a sack of potatoes. Oh, a knee lift. You can't pin him, though. You can't submit him out there. The, the one part of Azrael's plan that he still has to find a way to complete is getting Wally back in the ring and then through a table. Unless he plans on pulling another table out from underneath the ring. Steps can't help you win, bro. Yeah, he changed his mind. He must have heard me. Back on the attack is Azrael. Whoa, ho, ho, Wally came up with a knuckle sandwich. And right over the barricade. Knuckle sandwich. And right over the barricade. That was great. Wally missing there, but stand right on top of it. Oh, Wally to Wally, belly to belly. Wally throws Azrael into the buckle. And now, steel post. No, again onto the barricade. Azrael, Wally beating the snot, piss, shit, farts, and burps out of each other. Don't forget it's a tables match. Oh, we got blood. Wally busted wide open, cracked his cranium. Cracked his cranium. He's, I'm telling you, man. Azrael seems like he's out to hurt Wally. Azrael seems like he is out to injure Wally, not just beat him. He would have thrown him back in the ring a while ago if he had known. He could just whip him around. Whip it good. Crack that whip. Ha <laughs> ha, Sarah. Sarah, smile. You guys remember that song, Sarah, smile? A little hollow notes. Sarah's in the building. Sarah Hapka in the house. What is happening? Our man True is here. LD in the house. Butterfly flying high. Matt Storm. Jesse Jackhammer. There's a party going on right here. A celebration. Uh oh. Through the table to win. Wally trying to get the win right here. Belly to belly, but it's not through the table. Holy piss in a bottle. Wally has Azrael right where he needs him. Wally charging shoulder block. Holy cannolis. We're back on the outside again. <laughs> Jamar cheering on his tag team partner, Wally. Holy hell in a hand grenade. What a battle these two are putting on. Eat some knee. Wally's well, going for them dead. I knew he was going for the steps. I just knew. He looked over and he's like, I know they can't help me win. They can only help me hurt him. But I want to use the steps. No, don't use the... No, forget the steps. No, Azrael. Forget the damn stuff. Oh. That one connected pretty good. No, you can't win that way. Oh, gee. Come on, Az What are you doing, Azrael? Headbutts! <laughs> Holy crap, Ola. Jeez. These guys are annihilating each other here tonight. You gotta love it. Oh, 
<laughs> Wally is eating steel. But the idea is the table. Hey, man, there's more tables underneath there. It's all about putting your opponent through the damn table. And they know that, but the fight is just... Look, it's picking up right now, believe it or not. Both men busted, battered, bruised, and scarred. But that is not stopping them from tearing each other to pieces, people. said knock you out <laughs> I'm gonna knock you out back in the ring here we go Wally leap up oh, is he getting in nope he's gonna go all the way around yep you gonna go for them steps nope he's gonna make a whole way around yep he gonna get in the ring yep oh he knocked the table down yeah put that table in the corner in the corner down here yeah 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 no 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 okay that works uh-oh, this could be it. It only takes us... No, don't go back to the out freaking side. No, let him back in, Asriel. Let him in. Wally's like, let me in the ring. I'm bleeding. Oh, head on the apron. That one is gonna linger. That one is gonna linger. You're such a fool for you. Did you have to let a stinker? <laughs> Did you have to let a stinker? Did you have to? Did you have to? Oh, that's gonna linger. You can't win by submission. Asriel's trying to pop the head of Wally off his friggin' body here, folks. We're about to see a legitimate assassination of our boy Wally. Wally ain't having it. He's hawking up. He's getting angry. He's fighting back. Here comes the wall. Oh. Wally got smashed face first. Wally's got to be hurt, man. Big guy or not. And here comes Wally. Look at him. Pull out another table. There's a million of them underneath this ring. Wally not done yet. All right, you got plenty of room to throw him back in the ring now, Wally. Wally. Hey. Okay. Toss him like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> Howling at the wolves like a wolf. Hungry like the wolves. Wally picks up Azriel. The tables! The tables! Now I feel, feel like Fred Sanford. Is the big one, Elizabeth. Hey! We're back in the ring. Got three tables around you! Three! No! Stop going outside the ring. There's three tables in there. Wally, stay there. Stay, Wally. Stay. Stay, good boy. No, no, no. Stay, Wally. Wally, no stairs, Wally. Ah. Not the stairs again, Wally. Ah, put him down, Wally. Not the stairs again, Wally. J.D. King, WWE, what's happening, my man? Shout out to you. These guys, these guys, hey, they know it's a tables match over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's got a fetish for the damn steps. Oh, Azrael fighting back, though. Catches Wally. Wally eating a right hand. We got three tables up there. We got three tables up there. They're everywhere, people. They're everywhere. <laughs> A breakdown. That's uh, Fred Sanford. Up. I'm coming, Elizabeth. It's the big one. Yeah, Odds knows what it's it. Odds knows what's up. I'm coming, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. 
It's the big one. I'm coming, Elizabeth. These guys are really giving it their all, I tell you that much. <laughs> About 15 minutes. About 15 minutes in. Sanford and Son. Uh oh. You got three tables. Wally, no. Into a table. No, not right in the middle. Okay. See if you can go through a table, though. Right in the dead. The only one spot there's not a fucking table. All right, he's just getting ready to go through. Oh, here we go. Table. Whoa, he's done it. He found the table. Wally trying to automatically enter himself into the table event in the upcoming LTD Olympics. The Olympics coming soon. 2K24, Wally says, put me in a tables event. Ah, I'm gonna tear him to pieces. Boom, winner of the match as the fans in the stands chant his name once again. Wally, 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 Wally. Well, we saw a good bit of him in two of our four matches that we've seen so far, so let's celebrate the old MAD. We'll be right back after this. Are you a digital wrestler? Are you struggling mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually? Well, there's a place where you can turn all that around. Founded by myself, your bully Blaze McCoy and Ripper Springheels many years ago, the Madness Asylum has assisted in many career transformations. Those like Drum Monkey, Wally, Blade Chart, Matt Outlaw, Andy Price, Shifty, Mark Caliber, Bone Dog, Atticus Black, Brooklyn Joker, Rushing Kelly Black, Hot Cheese, and even the Goddess of Pain. Modifications will be made to help rehabilitate, refocus, renovate, rejuvenate, and resurrect your wrestling career. Anyone can be MAD, but only a few can be Madness Asylum Disciples. <laughs> Hello, you are watching Leaning Towards Death Wrestling on the Blaze Radio Network with my boy blaze mccoy you can check him out every sunday tuesday thursday and saturday right here on youtube yeah girl nothing means nothing and nothing's gonna stop me i am the cream You wanna get on this A team, living to the extreme. I like me on caffeine, league of its own esteem. Then let me hear you scream, catch me on that live stream. Like it like a damn meme, because I am the cream. Of the crop, watch me rise to the top, watch me size up the comp. Watch my eyes as I drop, almost forgot to pop and lock. Pop that ass and back it up. Call the cops, they lock her up, but I can't stop, I only level. Our power in my bag, and it's heavy as book. Baby, don't break it there, watch me as I rock. Play it again, play that beat back again. I am the creme, de la creme. R write it down, take notes, where your pen, where your pen. Creme, Brooklyn, creme, New York, Tiffany Sky. Write it down, take notes, where your pen, where your pen. Your girl in my DM, cause I'm a DJ. <laughs> Just got the feeling. If you don't, I'm pulling back and white, not even feel it. It's vanilla. What the girls want? 
Tiffany and Hot Cheese. Right now, Cheese sitting with most of the votes in the chat. Don't matter to all 24 of the ladies. We're in a tournament just now. Of course, we now know Jen Richards. Jen Richards winning that tournament. Impressive fashion. Uh, how Jen Richards closed it out over Evie Bloodyard. Uh, big shout out to Evie as well for making it that far in that tournament. And of course now we know John Breakdown, the number one contender for the men, winning a 64-man gathering tournament. The gathering is now over. Um, we have the last show. Actually, Saturday, the gathering is not over. We got one more show. And big shout out to Mike Wasson, so close once again to get to that world championship opportunity. Flirting with the five count now, we got Hot Cheese and Tiffany. They're on the outside. They're getting on back in. <laughs> Here they are getting back in the ring. Penelope Pineapple is your referee this time. I want to thank everyone for joining the show here tonight. Best way to thank you back. Hit that thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you. You guys are amazing. Everybody out there, for a party going on every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and sometimes Sunday, too. Ha <laughs> ha. There, I flip her over like a pancake, and here comes Tiffany. Stopping it right in the, between the titties there. What's up with that? Left hands. Party time. Left hand shots there by Tiffany. Pizza party. Yeah, now we're talking, Jamar. I'll take pizza. Favorite topping on a pizza, everybody. What's your favorite topping? And you can't say cheese. If, unless that's all you like is just plain cheese pizza sometimes. Man, you make me want a pizza now, man. Pizza. You get them cravings sometimes. Bacon on your pizza, that's a winner. I love bacon on my pizza. It's it's not even it doesn't even seem fair to ask somebody for one topping. I don't know. I, mean, I know some people might be stick to just the pepperoni. There you go. JW says ham mushroom black olives. All right, now you just turn it into how do you like your pizza? I used to do this. I called it the piggy pie. It was bacon, ham. It wasn't just bacon and ham. Uh oh, bacon, ham, and sausage. Bacon, ham, and sausage. I had to pick, I called it piggy pie. Bacon, ham, sausage. No pepperoni. Pretty damn close to just like a meat lover type thing. Pizza, pineapple, jalapeno, bacon. That's funny. Two people. Pineapple, pizza, thin crust, chicken, and onions. And, damn. Damn, John Hall, we have a... What's happening, man? Welcome in, John Hall, everybody. Welcome to the show. We have a show that is uh, seven years running between each game. So our little universe is just about to switch over to 24. We have our final show this Saturday. We've been testing out matches in 24, creating everybody in 24. We have 90 people on our roster here in LTD. Big shout out to John Hall in the building. But that's mainly why we've been doing 24 uh, shows as well already. We just ending our little stories, our 
title shots, etc. here in 2K23 as we transition into 24 starting next week. We have just about everybody uh, created. And right now we're also talking about your favorite pizza. <laughs> Tiffany back in the ring now. Double axe handle misses. Hot cheese going for the submission. Hot cheese got her wrapped up like a burrito. You got her in a bad shape. Tiffany might have to tap. Tiffany might have to tap. No! She fights out of it some way, somehow. Tiffany back up to a vertical base. Kick by cheese. Hot cheese turning it on now. Tosses Tiffany down and hot cheese now turning up the heat. Scott Hall, nice. Big Scott Hall fan. That's good. Appreciate you. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to the Wolfpack. Oh! Hot cheese. Oh, no. She's stringing together. One hell of an assault against Tiffany. Tiffany is in big trouble. Cheese might be looking for the splatter. Her final move. Little cheese splatter. Oh, the cheese pull. There it is. Splatter. That's it. One, two, three. What? Tiffany survived the splatter somehow. Got the shoulder up. Staying alive. Staying alive. Huh? Oh, she's going to hit it with her again. She's going to hit it with her, hit her, hit her with it again. She's going to hit her with it again. Easy for me to say. Reversal. What a counter by Tiffany. Tiffany strikes back. Fireman's carry. F Sky. Just when you thought Cheese is going to wrap it up. Tiffany takes it. Oh. Tiffany almost took it home. Yeah, John Hall, this is all created characters here. We don't do any, we're not using any WWE characters. Is everybody that's in the chat has their own characters fighting here. It's called an E-Fed. Now Hot Cheese looking for a submission on Tiffany Sky. Back to a vertical base. Kicked to the gut by Cheese. Now another one returning fire is Tiffany looking for another F Sky. Looking for another F Sky. F Sky! Dead center of the ring. Penelope Pineapple, the referee counts, and Tiffany takes it home. That was a hell of a fight. Damn good fight. Well, get ready. We still got more to come. And we're gonna bust out the blood right back at you after this. Check out the highlights. You wanna get on this A team? Living to the extreme. I like me on caffeine. League of its own esteem. Then let me hear you sing. Catch me on that live stream. Like it like a damn meme. Because I am the cream. Of the crop. Watch me rise to the top. Watch me size up the top. Watch my eyes as I drop. Almost forgot to pop and lock. Round time in the again. house. Joker's in the building. Tiffany Sky with the win. Take notes where you been. Four blood. Coming up here in our special edition Go Home Show of 2K23. The Go Home Show. The second and the last show before we flip over to 2K24. Steel City Showdown. We got Kelly Mavericks, Jamar, Jester, Brian LG, and Nightmare. Write, write it down, take notes, where your pen, where your pen, Cram, telegram, repeat it again, repeat it again, I am the cram, telegram, write it down. 
down. Take notes. Wait your hand. Wait your parents. Wait, wait a minute. Okay. Keep it popping. We got blood elimination. Just how y'all like it. We got prime time in the house. Andrew Dubs in the building. Wrestling Mama Butterfly LD. Jesse Jackhammer. AJ Cool Kid. We got a party up in here. Up in here. Chester has the triple thread briefcase. There it is. How about it? From Los Angeles, California, 6'2", 220 pounds. He's the only lucky seven. Grand Slam Plus champion. He is the holder of the triple thread briefcase. Chester! Three championship opportunities for Jester. We know one of them is the world championship. He can char challenge for that tonight or Saturday or in 2K24. There's Lashana. I sent you an invitation to the Facebook group there, Lashana. We have a private Facebook group. That's how we kept this company alive from the early stages. We're going to go Jamar or Nightmare. We got two options there. All right, here's your poll. The poll, my poll is up. Climb on my poll. Great to see everybody here in the building. I just like to check when people send me friend requests. I like double check. I'm like, is that really you? Is that really you? How can you prove it? People get hacked all the time. In the ring now from Atlanta, Georgia, the Atlanta A's. It's Jama. And by the way, Lashana, you're my friend. Drop the D. Just be, just call me Blaze. No, seriously. Once people really get to know me, they know my name. My first name is Blaze. My channel is Blazed with the D at the end. But my name is Blaze without the D. <laughs> but I'll give you the D if you really want it. Ah! No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Forgot to ch I forgot to pick the uh, singles attire for Nightmare. This is Nightmare's last match here at LTD. He is retiring the Nightmare character from what I've heard. If he wants a last, last match after this, I'd still give him another one. 
Yeah, hey, it's all about you guys, Butterfly. It's all about Dubs Wrestling. It's all about LaChon Network. Well, LaChon Network. It's all about AJ Cool Kid. It's all about all ag uh, Against All Odds 20. It's all about LD. It's all about you in the live chat. Definitely not about Nightmare, this guy right here. Keith, it's all about Keith, my main man, Keith in the building. What is up, Keith? Shout out to you. The big wave surfer from the west coast of California, Kid Kelly Maverick. Hey, let the massacre begin. Blood elimination, folks. Oh, you can just enjoy it. Everybody just beating the holy hell out of each other in the ring. Watch out. Look, the ref got kicked in the back. Ah, Gary Grayson, what happened? You get in the line of fire, you get shot, my friend. Oh, Jamar got, look, the ref is out. Ref is knocked out. Can we, do we have a button that brings out a new ref? Uh, we have a we have a dead ref out here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Can someone please give us another ref? This ref is gone. Oh, there he is! Oh, threatening his paycheck. He got back up. Gary Grayson is back with us, folks. It's a miracle he revived himself. Gary Grayson is now back from the dead, people. He's not a zombie, he's himself, but he was uh, technically, clinically dead for seconds there, people. Are you kidding me? Now I gotta call him back from the dead, Gary Grayson? Maybe that's why in 2K24 his hair is not gray anymore. Oh, they're on the outside. Hey, now this match, is the one match I wouldn't really complain when they grab the steps. No submissions, no knockouts, no pinfalls. This is all about blood. Bust open your opponent. They are eliminated, and you get down to the last fighter, the survival. That instinct that you want to kick in, that their livelihood is at stake. They must fight to the bitter end. Leg drop. That's what brings the best out of these competitors. They know here in the combat kingdom we don't have it like they used to have in the 2000s. All oh, right hands by Mavericks. Knee strike by Jester. Jester, little broken laughter, but no blood. These are some tough cookies. They probably oiled up a little extra Vaseline. Butterfly cheer for Kelly Mavericks here. Diamond Sky has been doing quite well. Awaiting the transition into 24. Oh, nice takedown. And going right back at it. Now Nightmare in the ring. We got Jester, Jamar also in the ring. 
And Gary Grayson, lucky. Uh, he, oh, we got a shovel. Shovel to Jamar's cranium. And one across the belly. One to the booby. Another booby shot by the shovel. Yielding nightmare. Holy piss. Daggummit, that was incorrect. Oh, Jamar revenge. Jamar exacting revenge with the damn shovel. And now Nightmare's got Jamar. Oh, dropped his head. He may have injured his neck. Nightmare don't care. Nightmare's gonna stomp on his head. He's gonna punt in Mare's blood. He just found a way to, he just kicked, he kicked his head into tomorrow and eliminated Jamar. Jamar is here and you're eliminated. Thanks for coming though. We appreciate you, Jamar. Man, I hope Jamar's okay. He's trying to find his way out. He may have a concussion. That kick was vicious. Like it was right after he just, oh my goodness. Jamar, just hope that Jamar is okay, everybody. Jamar limping out right now as he has been eliminated. We're down to four. This blood elimination matchup. I, I wanted. To, I was gonna go to the uh, free camera and follow him up the stage, but I forgot. This is 23, not 24. <laughs> Bust him open, Invitational, right here, people. Oh, Jester over the top, over the top. Blood matches will probably be an Olympic event. Blood uh, and blood and KO knockout will probably be events. Uh, probably soon. So you guys might have to start thinking about which two events you're you're gonna want your character to be in. I'm gonna let everybody pick two events. You guys have been really good with responses about getting the roster to, you know, pick an opponent or pick a division or pick a. A chew, pick and chew something because that's that's what I mainly love doing is making this very interactive with you guys so what I'm going to do is we're going to have probably eight events maybe ten and you guys get I got to crunch some numbers you guys are going to be able to pick two events and just for you got 21 people here so whoever's here Whoever's here, and you guys are getting a little heads up on what the next event's going to be here. I'm, I'll put it out on social media, of course. Facebook. Twitter. Skype. There'll be an ambulance event. There'll be a casket event. There'll be a submission event. There'll be a backstage brawl event. There'll be a tables event. There'll be a blood event. There'll be a KO event. Stuff like that. I don't know if there'll be a sledgehammer one. A sledgehammer and a shovel one might make sense, but I don't know. Brian LG, there he is. He's in the ring with Jester Slugger. More details to come. Let's leave it at that. More details to come. Just to plant the seed that we will be doing that type of uh, selection process in the very near future. Can we get one with everybody jumping off the ladder? No. Nope. nope, we cannot. No, we cannot. Nope. Big right hand by Brian LG on Jester and dumps him down on the back of the damn table. The flip, yes, the sandals. Black, yeah, that's it. the winners get black socks and sandals. The winners of all the events get the honorary signature black socks and sandals of your boy Blaze McCoy, yes. Clap for that shit, yeah. And a case of Eliminator beer, yeah. That's right, the tickets to a couple LTD events, there you go, there you go. Hey, I got the applause button, I can make anything seem like a puck. Hey, it's amazing these guys are still alive now. That big bruise on the side of Jester's face isn't an open wound. It's a 
It's already healed. But he's not, he's not uh, bleeding more. No active blood coming out of his body. Oh, backpacks, black ice stunner. Black ice stunner. Oh, he's got nightmare up. We're down to three. What is this? What is this? Oh, I'll drop it like it's hot. I missed. I missed Kelly Mavericks getting eliminated. Yes, sir, Jamar. Blaze McCoy is up. Sunshine is up. Tyson Parker, Schmoo, they're all up. It's community creations have at it. Oh, Jester and Brian LG in the ring. Timothy, what is up? Woo friends. Timothy in the building. What's up, Timothy? Tim out, Tim out. We got Nightmare swinging the damn candlestick. The candlestick, as Hugo likes to call it. Brian LG dropping like it's hot. Down goes Nightmare. He's going after Jester. Tossing Jester like a sack of potatoes. Now Nightmare lined him up. Nightmare dropping it down. Shut it down, Nightmare said. Is he bleeding? I didn't see a red splash. Was there? I don't know if I heard a bell either. Is Brian, I don't know if Brian's out or not. Doesn't look like it. The camera's still kind of keeping him in the frame which I think means he's still in it oh look at him flex when he got up Brian LG's like hell yeah I'm still in it he's like hell yeah I'm still in it Brian he goes not only am I still in it but I'm gonna win it Nightmare takes Brian LG down Chaos Retro Gaming, what is happening? What's up, Chaos? How you doing? Appreciate you. Shout out to you, 3.0. Oh, oh, you knocked the table down. There goes Brian LG. That time he did bleed. And we're down to Jester, the man with the golden briefcase, and a damn sledgehammer. Sledgehammering him! Oh! Good to see you, K-Host. How you doing? Welcome to the show. You're tuned in to Blaze Radio. I love seeing names come back to the channel and pop in. That is so awesome. I love, that's why I always encourage people. If you want to lurk, that's fine. I love when you guys pop, even just pop in the chat and just say hi and stuff. Just a little hi. Oh, there's a takedown by Jester. I give you a shout out. People always give you love in the chat when there's a new name. So if you're shy, you don't want to say hi, that's cool. But uh, you're going to get none but love around here if you do. So hang out with us. Oh, it's a great community. Stop. In the name of love, I'm a die. Uh oh, Jester's losing his shit right now. He's got the hammer and a die. Oh, he sacrificed his body and came up empty-handed. Now the hand. No, oh, it's Kendo. Oh, nightmare got him. Nightmare got him. Cracked him in the cranium and popped him like a pimple. That's how you do it. This is how you do it. Hey, that's pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn, pretty damn good. Hey, we're gonna bust out the shovels next. Nothing but shovels for the ladies. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Anybody want to go cigar boxing? Remember our boy, Banji boy? All I want to do is zoom, a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Just shake your bra. All I want to do is zoom, a zoom. All I want to do is zoom, a zoom. All I want to do is zoom, a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Just shake your bra. Check, baby, check, baby. One, two, three. Check, baby, check, baby. One. 
It's called the Shovel Smasher. The Lady Smashing Shovels. We got a rumble at the end. If you want a match and you haven't been in one, stick around. We got a Friendly Fire Rumble main event. If you're in the chat, you can nominate yourself or anybody for that 20 person main event. Nightmare with a big win. Good job, Nightmare. Bust out the shovels for the ladies and a little cigar box in here. I'm Banjo. one of the four. Wherever your winner is at, pick that one. See if you can guess it right. Get you a letter, little better odds. The odds are better odds. What are the odds of that? Big shout out to Crushing Kelly, Monstar, Butterfly, Jesse Jackhammer, Armin, True, the J22. TJ's in the house. Eight ladies, pinfall submission, I believe in KO knockouts. Who will survive? We got the ladies up, and we still have uh, Miles Stanley Board versus Kill Shot versus JW Caliber for the first lethal shot in 2K20. Oh. the ladies go at it right about now, you punk soul brothers. The four time battle queen champ, two time double duchess champ, former mixed monarch tag champ, as well the savage, sensational, marvelous superhero, it's Shulky. All eight of these ladies, all eight of these ladies. All eight of these ladies, former battle queen champions. At some point in time, each one of these battle queen ladies sat on top this division as the champion. Shulky's a four time battle queen champ. So is this woman. She's a grand slam champ. Three time double duchess, three time tap out princess. Former mixed monarch as well. 
a four-time battle queen champion from Austin, Texas, the fiery feline of anarchy, it's Cougar Night! Oh man, that sounds like home cooking. Dinner, a movie, and some LTV, baby. Oh, love it, TJ, love it. Mad respect. Cougar Knight is ready for a fight. And uh, that is not just a run. That is a fact, my friends. There you go. TJ Cat is here, too. Now, we already have the women's division decided, but man, those matches in that division were amazing. The 24, now up to 26 ladies in the Battle Queen division. When we switch over to 2K24, and what an impact this lady has made. Already a triple crown champion. Having held the Tap Out Princess, Double Duchess, and Battle Queen Championships. For parts unknown, she is the extraordinary Emily Lanale. Emily, I mean, uh, anyone who within like their first year of being in the Battle Queen division, winning all three championships, that's one hell of an accomplishment. And you can get a look at the brackets for the uh, tournament tonight and Saturday. We'll keep those tournament links up through Nightbot. But John Breakdown and Jen Richards are your gathering champions. And now we'll fight Saturday for the biggest prizes of them all. The Battle Queen Championship and the World Title. That Battle Queen title, something all eight of these ladies have held on to. Man, I tell you what, it ain't nothing like that feeling. Once you've held on to it, even if it was during a gauntlet and you've only held it for a couple minutes, even if it was cashed in later on that night and you only held it for a couple of hours, even if you held on to it for 48 hours, or even if you held it for 48 days, once you get the taste of the top championship, oh baby, you want to get it back. Shit talkers knows what I'm talking about. What is happening, shit talkers in the building? Shout out to you. Good to see you, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, coming down the ring next from the state of Michigan. She is also a Triple Crown winner. Former Tap Out Princess, Double Duchess, and Battle Queen. It's Patty Chase! Patty Chase and Emily, the old mother daughter combination. They fought together before. Tonight they're on opposite sides. If anything goes. Pinfall submission, knockout anywhere, and just a whole shitload of shovels underneath the ring. Yeah, use the weapons all you want. Probably, they're probably gonna use the damn steps more than they use the shovels. All right, let's see who's alive in this chat. How many? Shovel. You know the deal. All shovels under the ring. How many shovels will be used in this matchup? I'm thinking three. I don't know why I'm thinking three. Three is my guess. Uh, TJ says seven. That's very good wishful thinking. I like that. JW's on the same uh, wavelength as me. Same vibe with three. Uh, Joker wants to be funny. 69. Oh, come on. Two. Odd says there'll be two shovels. 
Jesse Jackhammer says seven. He and him and TJ are very optimistic because when they get up to six and seven shovels, oh, it is fun to watch. Shitalker's getting in the game. He says five. Primetime says four. Those would both be fun matches. If we see five or four shovels during the duration of this fight. Entering the ring now from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the like in which the pagan powerhouse of Madness Asylum Disciple, former mixed tag battle queen and three-time double duchess crushing Kelly Black. You want to be funny? Say 420. Oh, it rhymes. If you want to be funny, say 420. Or say 69,989. You guys are so clever. You guys are so funny. So clever. Let me tell you. Let me tell you just how funny you are. You guys are so funny. Like, you guys are like legit so hilariously funny. Coming down the ring next from Riverside, California, former Dab Out Princess, the Battle Queen Champion. She is Oya You guys are so funny. I just think you're funny. How about it? You go, girls. None but shovels. We'll see if anybody got the shovels right. Keep getting your shovel numbers in the chat. If you haven't already, pick who you think's gonna win and put a number in the chat for how many shovels you think will be used during this fight. Let me know how many shovels you think we will see. Shovel. How many shovels? Butterfly, did you say how many shovels you think? There's, they can use all the weapons they want, but right now underneath that ring, there's about 69 shovels. In the ring now, from Guadalajara, Mexico, the Latin gaming sensation, it's Carmen Gonzalez. Oh, the shovels are going to be flying, hopefully. I mean, I only said three. Twenty! Oh, I wish. I, w I wish. Now, I mean, I think the most we've ever seen is like ten. Our final fighter out of Austin, Texas. Former double duchess and that common thread with all eight of these ladies. Former Battle Queen Champion, Whisper Bagwell. Eight would also be dope. I'm down with eight. So, Butterfly is on top with eight with the most. Seven for TJ and Jesse. Uh, five for Shit Talkers. Four for prime time, three for me and JW, two for odds. Those are the numbers that are locked in to how many shovels. If you want to play the shovel game, you must put a number in the chat. And, and when we mean used, we mean pulled out from underneath the ring. And 
about to yell at everybody. Shovel game! How many shovels will be used? Enter in chat now if you haven't already. Go! Shovel mania! I'm talking about some shovel, 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 shovel mania. We got shovel mania. All right, I better. I'm getting too hyped for the shovels. And watch, there'll be one. Ah, hold on to your hang dangs and grab your biscuits, folks. We are going to blast into the future. We already locked in certain championships going into 2K24. The G6 titles. Atticus Black, Andy Price, and Azriel Black guaranteed to have the G6 titles. Actually, they have an open challenge. And it will be a mystery opponent. John Breakdown, there he is! Ladies and gentlemen, this Saturday, the match of his life, it's John Breakdown, the winner of the 64-person tournament. John Breakdown versus Big Daddy Beard in the main event for the world title this Saturday at the final 2K23 show. <laughs> That's right, John Breakdown won the men's tournament. Jen Richards won the women's. They'll take on the top champions this Saturday. Hey, but don't forget the Crazy 8 title will be on the line. Wild Matt Outlaw will defend the Crazy 8 Championship this Saturday against Marley Good, TJ Toad, William Styles, Big Daddy Beard, Dragonheart, Captain Danger, and Blade Charge. Um, I don't see any shovels yet, ladies. I know, tell them, Jesse. They're not grabbing, I told you, we are going to get us all hyped on the shovels and they'll be zero. I mean, they can win by pinfall submission and I believe, I believe knockout, yeah, knockout. KO is on, pinfall submission falls count anywhere. Now, why wouldn't they have, oh, well. Uh, bleh, elimination. Why would they have that on? All right, here we go on the outside. Here's the cover. One and two. No. Misha's staying alive. Staying alive. Uh oh. Someone grab a shovel. A three was my guess. But it's looking closer to being maybe zero or one, but. You know, there's also the case when all of a sudden everyone's going to grab shovels and the next thing you know we got four shovels used. So we've seen stuff like that happen too. These matches can be, I mean, even the, the worst ones you can't really use the word boring. Yeah, right now no shovels. But still guaranteed to be one. There's one, there's a shovel! One shovel. We got a shovel. We got a shovel, people. Carmen Gonzalez in the ring with Whisper Gonzalez. Dumps her down. Cougars got the shovel. Emily knocked it out. How many shovels? Come on, you get two more. We can get the three, ladies. There hasn't been any eliminations yet. We can get the three. I'm telling you, I'm feeling three. Jake Bagwell in the house. What's happening, my friend? Hey, you guys keep the thumbs up coming. I appreciate it. You guys are great. Thumb up. Whispers out. Play. Look, whispers out. Look at her. Jake shows up and Whisper gets eliminated. Whisper is out. Cougar with a kick out. 
Jake, you better go console your lady. Whisper just got eliminated. You better go console her. This is her last match in 2K23. I love her look in 24, though. I think, what was her? Her, her hashtag was LTD24, I believe. Uh, Whisper, I just grabbed her. I think I found her under LTD. Oh, in the ring. Spear, golden spear, misses. Great to see everybody in the building here tonight. We are live at our overstay here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania while we transition into 2K24. This is the Go Home Show. Ah, oh, there's that one shovel. Or is that a new one? That's the same one. Come on, ladies. Two more shovels. Our man true says 10. You must be behind. You better refresh. Our man true, you might be behind. You just now said 10. You better hit the refresh button on your browser. Refresh your browser, people. What? Always refresh your browser. Oh, Emily's out. Oh, Emily's out. Oh. They're not going for the damn shovels. They got the one. And Kelly's got the shovel. Oh, when they've got like three or four active shovels, and we got people cracking craniums everywhere. It is a beautiful sight. Stomach shots, back shots, head shots. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got another one. We got two shovels. Patty got one. Yeah. Two shovels. We are at two. One in the ring, one out of the ring. They are both visible right now. You see the shovels. We need one more shovel. I'm feeling three. Oh, someone else. Oh, it's Firestar and it's out. Kelly just eliminated Firestar. Odds, what would you say? Two odds. Odds said two. He's right right now. JW and myself have three. Prime time has four. Shit Talkers has five. TJ and Jesse have six. Joker, technically you... I mean, I have seven. Jo Joker, technically you have six. Because six was the first number you typed. Shulky's out! Man, they're dropping like flies. Wait, is that a third shovel? Oh! Patty with the shovel on Kelly right ahead. Two times, three times, four times. Yikes, foul out right up belly. And the back of oh, Kelly's trying to fight back. And she does. Kelly with a cover. Desperation. Only two. Only two. Only two. Yep, only two shovels. So hey, sometimes butterfly. They'll grab like six right in the beginning. Like just keep grabbing them. Cat scratch fever. Da -da -da -da. We are down to Kelly and Cougar. Shovel to the belly. Our man true, if you're late, you can be said nine. We ain't asking for numbers no more. You need to. Refresh your browser, our man true. Refresh your browser, our man true. Refresh your browser, our man true. Yeah, you! Yeah, you! I gotta make a song for you. Yeah, you, our man true. Refresh your browser, our man true. Oh, big knees dragged by Kelly. Two and a half. Wait, is there a third shuffle out there somewhere? Oh, we're a, we're a hit away from another knockout. This thing's over right here. Three shovels. Yay, I thought I saw one. 
Three shovels. End it now, Coogs. Kelly, one of you two. Kelly's on a tear. Three shovels, and Kelly's got it! Wow, what a win for crushing. Kelly Black. Incredible action. Hey, don't go anywhere. We still have two matches left. A shot at the lethal title in 2K24, future title shot. And friendly fire rumble main event. You in the chat will be nominating the competitors for our main event. The winner of the match, Crushing Kelly Black. Hey, Schmoo is here. Hey, how you doing, man? You're just doing your job, okay. I'm hungry. And you're hungry. I figured you'd be hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'm hungry. Well, here it is. Uh, the match that will cross over into the next game. The winner of this fight. We'll get to fight the winner of Cody Hagen and Matt Outlaw, which is this Saturday at the 420 show, The Gathering Madness 12. Shmoo is here, and he's hungry. That's not really a surprise. Get your votes in the chat. Winner will fight for the lethal title. 2K24. But first, they must battle here. I'm hungry. I know you're hungry. We've talked about it. Hey, let's get to the ring and get to the fight. Lethal title shot on the line. Originally, it's a crazy eight. Got a little step up. Here we go. This man has held that lethal title before. He's also held the internet title, the tag titles, and a two-time Crazy A champion from Nashville, Tennessee. Six foot two, 205 pounds. This is Kill Shot, Matt Star. So if you're joining us late, the breaking news of today's show 2K24 starts next Tuesday. And shortly after, we will start our World Tour e Olympic event. Eight different events. You guys will be given a list of events to pick two from. And you'll be involved in events. The winners of the eight events will obviously fight each other in a, 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 a final. It should be everybody picks one event, honestly. If I did it that way, that would guarantee we'd be okay to do it in one show. Probably will be one event. It might only be one event. So like, you'll have to pick. I want in the ambulance event, which might be like a mini tournament. I want in the casket event. Could be a mini tournament. I want in a submission event. That could be one match with eight people submission. I want in the backstage tournament, you know. Bunch of little tournaments, basically. Blood, we'll figure out how to do that one. Jake Bagwell and the Blaze Crew. Shout it out, shout it out loud, my friend. So we will be having an Olympic-style event here in LTD. 
the very near future. The Olympics coming to LTD. And stick around directly after this match. I will give you the okay in the live chat and you guys We'll nominate people for our main event. I love Friendly Fire Rumbles. I'm sure when Carmen, my friend Soma, wrote that song, he had no idea it would end up being used for that. <laughs> Making his way down the ring uh, from Norfolk, Virginia, 6'2", 275 pounds, Mario Stanley Ward. Making his way in the ring right now. He is from Big River Valley, South Texas. 5'10", 235 pounds. The DSO, the Dirty South Outlaw, J.W. Caliber. Wasn't I in a band? I was in a couple different bands. All right, here we go. J.W. Straight up three-way elimination, pinfall submission, elimination. You got to watch your back. As soon as you hit a move, when there's three in the ring, I've always said it. Such a deadly, deadly, deadly type of match. Because, you know, listen, man, you get hit in the back the wrong way, man, it can take you out for a long time. And I ain't talking about dinner and a movie, people. Matt Storm, a former lethal champion. And that's what's at stake right now. You, They will fight the winner of Cody Hagen and Matt Outlaw. That match will happen this Saturday, which means the winner might be defending their title a week after. That's the way the ball bounces. The lethal title is pretty much like our hardcore, you know, workhorse type title. Our original championship here in LTD is that lethal championship. I've said it a million times. That is our heritage title, if you will our original championship and we were developmental for lethal championship wrestling kill shot off the ropes big boot and a double stomp down on miles jw unloading jw with a stunner there on miles and a cover one two kick out what a match they know what's at stake here man the lethal championship some people hold it in higher regard than the world title i mean we didn't get world title status until we were uh-oh spaghettios we uh we had uh we had to re we had to reapply for it here in the digital era 
So we did have a point in time we didn't we started once we got it there was very there was a very short time where we did not have a world champion. We did bring that world championship back and slowly added the internet title uh, is a newer one. The six man title started here in the digital era starting in the end of 2017. So 2017 October 30th exactly to be exact. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs, Devil's Night, October 30th was our opening night. Killshot trying to eliminate Miles Stanley Ward right now. This is an elimination match and he does just that. It will be either JW Caliber or Killshot Matt Storm as your number one contender for the lethal title. We're about to find out. We're about to book a match in 2K24. It's almost that time, people. Will it be Killshot? Will it be JW? Killshot. Backbreaker on J-Dub. Killshot with a big boot. Two amazingly uh, awesome, loyal people to the channel, to the company. Take pride in being part of LTD. Texas pride for J-W. Tennessee pride for Killshot Mad Storm. Perfect Storm. Perfect Storm. JW's fighting it. He gets those rights in. Finally, enough power to throw a couple rights. JW gets separated. Back up top. JW going to throw a kill shot into the hip toss. Into a cartwheel. Knee strike to the mush. JW now ramping up. Power slam by JW. The DSO. Lock, stock, bond, pit. Oh. JW trying to finish it right here. Double underhook, toss him around. March 2018 was TJ, yep. 30th month anniversary. Good, Miles, yeah! Big chop and broccoli. Now here comes Miles, kill shot. Kill shot throw JW in the back corner, a big punch. Here we go, here we go. Stormbreaker! That might do it. Matt Storm looking to go. No! Kick out! Wow! What a fight here tonight. We got a bonus match, and you guys in the chat are going to let me know who you want in the fight. A friendly fire 20 man rumble yet to come. Hold on to your hang dangs and grab your biscuits, people. It's going to be crazy to close out 2K23 here. It's still City Showdown. Saturday, we got Schmoo versus Radio Rex. Hair versus Career. Schmoo's putting his hair on the line, yes. Versus Rex's Career. JW with the Lone Star Lariat, but it's not enough. This Saturday, we also got a G6 match with the ladies, Rarity, but those are great ones. It's Lita, Cassie, and Missy versus Selena, Jessica, and LD. That'll be wild. Matt Outlaw puts his Crazy A title on the line. John Breakdown puts his Blitzkrieg title on the line. Matt Storm connects. Is it enough? Matt Storm has done it. Matt Storm finds a way and puts his name in the record book. Could he be facing Matt Outlaw? A new champ? Or can Cody Hagen successfully defend it and take on Matt Storm? Matt, Matt, match has happened before, but not for a championship. That would be unprecedented. The winner of the match, Kill Shot. It's done.
Help JW up. Salute to him, sportsmanship. I love to see it. And now it's time. Get ready. Are you ready? chat right now who wants in Austin I got in Gav wants in click the clack let me know who you want in guys this is your opportunity to be a part of the show book the match who do you want to see fight Kel says, butterflies like, I like that guy with his shirt off. I thought we were just yelling names, says Gab. Yeah, just yell names. Yeah, just yell names, please. <laughs> Prime time. Oh, no, you're in 24. You got to pick one of these names, Prime time. Sean Sanders, you'll be in the when we go to 24. Starting next week, we'll have more Prime time. Dragonheart just got nominated. Don't worry there, uh, prime time. Your time will come. Ha ha. Blade charge. Danny Wells. Jay Savage and Hunter McIntyre. Danny Luigi, ha <laughs> ha, we got him, count C. Can't see the names. Say anybody that's in the company then. We got Wallet, we got Aiden, we got Andy, we got Atticus, Asriel, Bone Dog, Brooklyn Joker, Captain Danger, Cody Hagen, D Train, Cowboy John, Drum Monkey, 
Matt Storm, Matt Storm is in. Jay Dog, JW Caliber. Our man True wants in. There he is. Our man's in. Pillow Post is in a building. He says, Hey, Blaze! He comes in yelling. Jake says, Hey, Pete! And they're yelling at each other already. All right, couple more left. Who wants a fight? You guys want to risk it? You guys want to risk it? You guys want me to put Rex in there? Give me names or I'll put Rex in there. I'm the clip, you insert the go. Click to clack. Sweat these bullets, friendly fire. The chamber's my back. Chance, you guys want chance. Chance Harper, there it is. Oh, Gav wants it. Logan, too. He's in. He's in. Oh, boy. Drunk Pete in the chat. Watch out. Hey, now. Run that friendly fire back again. Twenty man rumble bonus match. Final competitors. Friendly fire. Desire to hit. Pick your nominations now in the chat. Keep saying Morgan, you know Morgan ain't available. Wally. There it is. It is Wally. Atticus Maticus. No. J Dog. Now you guys too late. It's over. Here we go. 20 man rumble. You could say Aiden Nightwalker instead of Morgan. You could definitely say Aiden Nightwalker. That's allowed. Hey, man, we always have a blast. I appreciate you all. We'll be back Saturday between 3 and 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, still up in the air whether we're going to do a Get Blaze talk show or not. More than likely not. We'll just have a great show. Let's see how it goes. Hey, this is up in the air right now. 20 competitors, who can it be now? Maybe we'll let the winner pick his first match in 2K24. So we already have the first 2K24. We got Andrew Dubs versus Gav. Ripper and Joker versus Storm and Watson. We got Leo Angel versus Big Chuck. We got Atticus, Andy, and Azriel versus Mystery Team for the G6 Championship. All right, who's first? Oh. Kelly Mavericks coming back out. 19 men and one baby. 19 men and one baby says TJ20. Butterfly, piping them up. I appreciate you. We've seen a lot tonight. Saturday, our final 2K23 show. Saturday in the park. I think it was the 4th of July. Actually, it's 420. Smoke them if you got them, people. Woo! We're going to close out 2K23 this Saturday. Pop it into 2K24 starting Tuesday. Thursday, next Saturday, we start the world tour soon. We get... Number two coming out. Logan Windsor. The beach bump. Bump. The beach bump. Beach bump. All right, people. 
You guys picked the competitors. Now we let them fight it out in the ring here in the Combat Kingdom. Hand-to-hand -hand combat is when we decide who prevails overall. The strongest, only the strongest survive. We've seen blood matches tonight. We've seen shuffle matches tonight. We've seen table matches tonight. Now this one, salute to you. You pick the competitors. May everyone have the best of luck and we'll see who the last man standing will be. Logan starts out right off the bat, stomping away on Kelly Maverick. Hey, it's not like these are one of those goodbye shows coming up Saturday that aren't really bad goodbye shows. The only thing that sucked was having to do all the creations that were just like literal copies. Like, I, I mean, we, we did minor tweaks to almost all the characters I created. So I guess nothing's exactly the same, but many are very close. Like, it was a lot of work just to basically copy what I already had on 2K23. Like, there's nothing really broke with this 2K23 right now. Basically, is what I'm saying is, like I said earlier when someone said something about 23, 24. I said, you got an ambulance match, you got a gauntlet, you got a, a casket match. You got a little better graphics here and there and that, but it's a lot of the same game stuff. Jay Savage in at number four. So you get a lot of similar stuff, but... I don't see it enough for a complete update because so much is similar. Uh, menu screens, options, uh, sliders. So many things were really close to being the same as 23, this game. That it's really not, it's, it's more like a, here's an add-on to 23. They could have just thrown us the ambulance match, the casket match, and the gauntlet. I don't, like I said, we're still trying to see the pooling blood, the dripping blood that they promised. Oh, the blood's great. Wait till you see it. I haven't seen it yet. I mean, we're doing shovel matches and trash can. I like the guitar match. The, uh, what is it? Open mic night. The guitar and the and the microphone. <laughs> Dragon Heart number six. That's what we can do. Yeah, thank God Gab didn't. Wait, did Gab get into this? I don't know. I want to see his ass cheeks. Oh, he's in there already. Oh, I'm trying to shield myself from those. Ah. I liked it better when I did, was ignoring Gav and didn't see his ass cheeks. They're all they're right there. I'm glad I was happier when I wasn't paying attention to Gav. Danny Wells at number seven. Ignore the butt cheeks. Ignore the butt cheeks. Damn you guys in the... Hey, you guys listen. That is a total, total... Example of you guys made the bed. You must lie in it with it. Oh, he's out at least. Now oh, there he goes. You can't see his butt cheeks anymore. Gav got his cheeks out. So does Rex. We'll fight for Rex's career this Saturday too. Prizes for eliminating Gav. I don't know. He's out. Jamal Allen in the building. What is up, my friend? Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. What is up, Jamal Allen in the building? How you doing, brother? Welcome in. Welcome in. Great to see everybody popping in tonight. You guys making my day. Make my day. Hey, if you want to support the channel back, easiest way, hit that thumbs up. I appreciate it. You guys are the greatest. We are having some fun tonight. We are Wang Chung in tonight. We're still in our hub or home base of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania the past couple weeks as we get ready to finalize 2K23 and into 2K24. 
Here comes another fighter. Who can it be now? It's Wally. Wally had success earlier tonight. How can he do it more? You make our day every time we see it. Hey, I appreciate you, Jamon. That's all I want to do is bring people together. Come together right now over me. I love bringing people together, having some fun, even if it is with the game. Oh, man. You got everybody has a representative. You got 20 different people that were handpicked by the live chat to fight in this battle. You in the chat nominated these individuals to put their lives on the line in this main event rumble. Friendly fire, I mean, you're throwing a friend right into the fire, basically, is the uh, other way you can kind of spin it. Is because you're nominating them to go into a match that could be deadly. And you're seeing it right in front of us, this chaos and carnage. They are beating the hell out of each other. Oh, but it's all about survival and to finish. Jay Savage up front here with Kelly Mavericks. Chop block, takes Savage down and in, moves Danny Wells. Wells and Mavericks, part of G6 teams. And the squad, we got Counts Wraith Knock and Mike Wasson going at it in the back. And they ain't holding back, folks. This is when we throw these matches together, you think just because it's not a match they haven't trained for and thought about that it's going to be any less of an exciting match. Well, you got another thing coming. Because these impromptu matches, I'll tell you what, I've asked a lot of the talent in the back. They say these are the ones they look forward to the most. When they get in the back tapped and say, hey, you just got handpicked for a friendly fire rumble. Get your ass out there. Or get back out there. This is a run in at Let's Make a Deal. You come on down. You're the next contestant on the Friendly Fire Rumble. Yay! <laughs> Kelly Mavericks, you have been eliminated. Hey, the, the more they fall, the more they crawl, the more get in the ring to stand tall, and then it's only when one is left. We have our wiener. It's all about the stamina and outlasting everyone else, man. This is crazy. Butterfly likes Kelly Mavericks. Is, that's, that's triple beat in the chat, Butterfly. You see triple beat in the chat? That's Kelly Mavericks is his character. The California Kid. It's a great character, man. Surfer dude. Very well played. Well played with Surfer dude. Hey, Jamon, I say the same thing in these matches. Yikes. You don't want to see him be a uh, butterfly. You, you, you hope to not see him until later. Better chance he might come out now. You may have just jinxed him. Did you jinx him? Is this PK right here? It is! Oh my god! What? <laughs> Only at the halfway point and Butterfly. I made sure I waited before I take my drink of water. Butterfly just called the shot. Dragon Hearts out. I was gonna say, be careful. No, you don't want him to come out yet, Butterfly. You want him to come out late so he wins. Better chance to win. Better odds to win. You want number 18 or 19 or 17. He did hear you. He's like, all right, Butterfly, I'm on my way. Feeling Kel, the reinforcements to the, to the uh, Redneck Ranch. There goes Jade Savage. Got it with the okie doke. She wanted to see him quick. She's like, the guy with the shirt off? Yeah, bring him out now. I don't want to wait. Butterfly's like, no, I want the guy with the shirt now. Off now. 
Counts Wraithnog has been eliminated. We're getting down to the nitty and the gritty. Say hello to the top ten buckle. It's our man true at number 11. Team. What a go home show and our final show this Saturday. Man. Big Daddy Beard just wins the world title. He's got to defend it in the last show at 2K23. And as I keep reminding you guys, as Austin Bagwell comes out at 12, the final 2K23 show this Saturday, it's the final show because Tuesday we start 2K24. The new game came out, so we'll be closing out this game. And going to a game that looks just like it, but it has an ambulance match and a casket match and a gauntlet match. I agree, Jamon. This is a slobber knocker indeed. And we got an elimination. Danny Wells is out. Yeah, I love that people want to know how it works. I love explaining it. There's more on the website. Nightbot dropping the website. Good timing, Nightbot. Does a good job, the Nightbot guy. Good job, Nightbot guy. Nightbot dropping the important information in the important times. Well, the, the Battle Queen Bracken we don't need right now, Nightbot, but thank you. Well, if people want to check it. I mean, Saturday, it's technically over. The winner of that tournament has already been decided. Bahala Sports Talk is in the building. Welcome to the show. You're tuning to Blaze Radio. This is our main event. It's a, it's a Royal Rumble, which we call a Friendly Fire Royal Rumble. Friendly Fire because you in the live chat handpicked your nomination for which character you wanted to fight in this rumble. Here comes Mark Caliber at number 14. Big shout out to Valhalla. You guys may remember the Valhalla Viking. A competitor here in LTD. There's the boot by Wally and Austin Bagwell has been eliminated. Austin Bagwell has been eliminated. We got chaos and carnage going off in the ring right here. Steel City Showdown, our go-home show for 2K23. Saturday, the final 2K23 show. The Gathering Madness 12. We'll see a hair versus career match. We'll see a triple tagiaco match, which is, those are crazy to see. Three-way tag team matches in the Hell in a Cell. Two out of three falls, knockout included. Oh, my baby. Hold on to your hang dangs and grab your biscuits, people. Oh, it's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> we got the lethal hardcore title on the line. The assless chaps are back. You guys asked for it. Our man True is in there now, and so is Blade Charge. There's our man True in the chat saying, our man True going to win. Hey, if you're going to root for anybody, why not root for yourself? <laughs> the assless chaps have returned. Gav and Radio Rex have the chaps. Gav will... Put the chaps on the line, along with Rex's career, against Atticus Black. But Atticus Black, in order to get this opportunity, has also put his own career on the line. Yes, all chaps are assless, but not all chaps have actual Dupa's asses hanging out of them. Bare butt cheeks 
You just missed it, Jeff. The guy that has the chaps is just in there, man. I'm glad he got eliminated. I don't want to see that pimply butt cheek anymore. Oh, you got to cover up your dupa around here. I don't want to see that shit. Oh, Gav, you want to be the tag champs, huh? Wally has been eliminated, says Butterfly. Butterfly, fly away, fly high. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, down goes Caliber, dead center your ring. Mike Watson up top with Arm Man True. You got Jesse Jackhammer and Feeling Cal now in the middle. Oh, you want to be the champions. Oh. Uh, well, you guys are right now, you jackasses. I can't believe that you guys actually voted to bring the chaps back. Uh, that was a punishment. How did it turn to be a prize? Hey, well, you know it works ass backwards. Because if you ask for the chaps... Well, then you have to lose. Rex, there he is. Oh, I forgot about He's in his... Oh, there, there's your example of the damn chaps. You want to see that? Nobody wants to see that. Oh, nobody wants to scoop anyone up from behind. Oh, get out. Oh, don't, don't you dare stand up. Don't you dare stand up. Jesse Jackhammer leaving. I do kind of blame you, Jake. You made him famous. There they are. Don't you dare stand up, Rex. Stay down. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, that moly, pimply, hairy butt cheeks. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Chip chap hooray! Ho! Oh my goodness gracious, golly G Willikers. Stay in front of him. I don't want to see them butt cheeks. Butterfly, hey, I tell you what though, Butterfly. Feeling Cal came out early, but at the same time, he's one that could stay the whole time. He's seven plus. He's a monster. The reinforcements to the Redneck Ranch. One of the Cowboys from hell. Feeling Kel up front of your screen. And here comes Kill Shot. Mad Storm. Oh, I'm surprised too, Gav. I really... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Blade Charge want to be the hero and save the world again. Eliminate Radio Rex. Blade Charge already saved the world once from a meteor. We didn't know he was a rocket scientist. Thank God he was. Rocket Man saving the whole world's lives. He did save everyone. To June 22, TJ Toad in at number 18. He would have number 22 if he could, but there's only a 20 number. Please don't let that little bald-headed prick win. Anybody but him. Dad joke. Why are basketball players messy eaters? Cause they always dribbling. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. They got the dad jokes popping off in the chat. You guys have been off the chain here tonight. I appreciate that. We always have a blast. Getting ready to pop over to 2K24 starting on Tuesday. Oh, there he is. No close up. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to see that cameraman. Damn cameraman. We got blood. We got blood. You can see his basketballs. I don't want to see them basketballs. Why? Because of all the black leather out there, Butterfly? Kick to the gut. If you, yeah, if you took Kill Shot, Feeling Kel, Mark Caliber, 
Blade Charge, you got to start the band Kiss out there. Oh, Blade Charge taking TJ Toad out. And I ain't talking about dinner in a movie. So you can hit your finisher. You can get him to tap out. But in these rumbles, Blitzkrieg style, you got to throw him over the top rope. And it's 30 second intervals. So we fill up this ring like this. And it ain't going to stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. This party until there's one dude left. Who can it be now? He's got the chaps, Riley. Son of a bitch. And chat. The chat voted to bring him back, and he ended up with him. It's your fault, Riley. It's your fault, Riley. Atticus destroyed him one time, and now they're back. I don't know why, because you've encouraged Rex before. That's why, Riley. I don't know. There he Oh, my God. Stop getting close, cameraman. Stop. Someone got to eliminate him already. See, you guys... If you, That's why friendly fire is also the risk of fighting. And now you got the risk of him eliminating one of you guys. And the reason he got put in this match because you guys were pissing around, taking too much time to nominate yourselves in. Look, he hasn't shaved. He's all hairy and shit. I don't know odds. I don't know. Yeah, but once you can stop being a sympathizer, but you can't say that you never were a sympathizer. I know the hairiness is just, uh, uh, butterfly, I can't take it. I can't take it. Someone, well, there's no one. Gav, that's your job. Gav, you must shave Rex's body. Oh, no! Cameraman! That was his finisher. Oh, nobody finished when they saw that. Ugh. Oh, I'm sick. I'm sick in the stomach. Oh, I'm sick. I'm going to be sick. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick on myself. Oh, my God. Come on, Mike. Mike, 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 Mike! What the Mike was in my hero! Did you know that you're my hero? You're everything I could want to be. Did you know that you're my hero? Oh, Mike was in you. Radio Rex Rabalski. Oh, Matt Storm is out too. Oh, holy cannolis, people. This shit is off the hook, off the chain. You gotta be fucking kidding me, people. Oh, armpit, uh, armpit hair to a. Po uh, uh, oh, it's gross. Valhalla Viking, you should be hanging around Radio Rex. Maybe you, maybe you, Valhalla. Maybe Valhalla, you could shave Radio Rex. I can't even say it. Shave Radio Rex is back. Gross. Rex eliminated Matt Storm. Chances number 19. See, this is where it's, uh, this is where it starts to get a little. Ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching the 18th ring. Very carefully approaching the ball. Our man true has been eliminated. Keelan Kell and Mike Watson, two big boys on the right hand side. Chance Harper, Blade Charge, Mark Caliber, and TJ Toad are in the ring. We are on the 10th green, 18th green, I'm sorry. Ready to close out the round. Putting for par. TJ with the right hand. Hunter McIntyre is number 20. This is our final competitor. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The final seven. And Joker wants to do. What do you mean? No.
No, we don't have to. What do you mean? Yes, bitch. Oh. Ooh, this is my song. Ugh. I'm about to do it for the Yeti, bitch. For the Yeti. Oh, God. Shit. For uh. the Yeti. Oh, God. She gonna buzz it for the Yeti. Oh, God. She gonna buzz it for the Yeti. Why you gotta do it for the Yeti? Do it for the Yeti. Do it for the Yeti. Do it for the Yeti. Do it for the DJ Richard Cranium, why are you playing this song? Do it for the DJ Richard Cranium, how dare you? She about to buzz it for the Yeti. There goes Hunter McIntyre, and everybody's doing it for the Yeti now. Do it for the Yeti. Oh, yeah. Do it for the Yeti. Do it for the Yeti. Oh, yeah. Do it for the Yeti. Do it for the Yeti. Oh, my God. Yeti, 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 Yeti. I can't help it. She's going to bust it. Do it for the Yeti. She's going to bust it. Do it for the Yeti. Do it for the Yeti. Do it for the Yeti. people's predictions about me. I've become a real scumbag. We're going streaking! We're going streaking! We're going streaking! I guess we're going streaking, yeah, we're everybody. Going streaking. We're going streaking! Yeah, we're going streaking! What about you, Firestar? Fuck you! 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 I always wondered what happened to you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, the playoffs? What are you talking about? Playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? It's always the playoffs here in Leaning Towards Death Wrestling. You got uh, Blade Charge in the back right corner with Mark Caliber with the face paint. In the blue and white is TJ Toad and Chance Harper is on the ground. Blade Charge. 
with a big right hand, blade charge. Butterfly checking out blade charge. Blade charge the rocket man, a rocket scientist who saved the world, Butterfly. Back in 2018, Butterfly, there was a meteor that was gonna explode the planet. And Blade Charge, we didn't know until the last minute, he was a rocket scientist and he figured out a way to blow it up before it killed us all. He saved us all. Yep, Blade Charge, we owe our lives to him. Actually, Chance Harper with the pants with the fire on him, he kind of saved us the second time there was an almost apocalypse because it was actually, ironically enough, rain, fiery rain falling from the sky. Like fire falling from the sky like rain. And Chance had won the pyramid. And the pyramid is what saved us all the second time. So we have... We have uh, two almost apocalypses here in the combat kingdom. The first one was a meteor. Second one was fiery rain. Luckily, Paragon and company helped build the pyramids. And uh, Chance had won the pyramids, and we stayed in Chance's pyramid in Las Vegas. Oh, man, it was fun, though, hey! We had the Vegas pyramid, but the golden pyramid still exists. We still have the Golden Pyramids. We'll be taking them into 2K24. And we bring the Olympics to you. Yay! Yes, we'll be bringing you Olympic coverage here on the channel. Leaning towards death wrestling, E-Fed, SimFed, digital wrestling. The Olympics will start here very soon. A number system will keep track of how many medals you guys win in different events. The top medal getters will face off against each other. There'll be eight categories, eight events in the uh, Olympics. You guys will get to choose what event you get to get into. If you don't choose quick enough, I'll put you in an event. That's how it happens. Once again, there will be, oh, death from above from Mark Caliber. Holy sheep shit. Chance thrown, I should say if Chance wins, he gets a Blitzkrieg title shot in 24. Like as soon as he gets made, that's the first. Yes, the Blaze Olympics. We have uh, ambulance match. There'll be an ambulance match tournament. There'll be a casket match tournament. There'll be a backstage brawl tournament. There'll be a tables tournament, a blood event, a KO event. It's going to be a blast. A pic if it was your pyramid, you would just have a picture of you on the side of the pyramid. Who's to say Chance Harper didn't want the same thing? And there goes Caliber. We're down to TJ. Blade Charge. Those two are former tag teammates. I think they won the tag titles together. Blade Charge trying to eliminate Chance. In moves TJ. TJ, Blade, Chance, your final three. What a night it has been. Joker's going to... Oh, TJ's out. It's down to Chance Harper and Blade Charge. Now Blade Charge wants it. He says do it for Butterfly. And he does. The rocket scientist who saved the world comes through tonight and shows he is still one of the best in the world at what he does. And that's beat people up. Yeah, it's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops. Let this beat rock. Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock. Just let your mind loose from the new stock. Drunk off the goose. Thinking that I'm too drunk. Getting caught with a few thoughts. Cause I'm too drunk. Speakers can't even handle me. Even what I got, nobody will drain my energy. And I will never stop. I'm motivated by enemies. Setting up shops to whip me, 
Everybody remember me and who I am Not going through life regretfully I'd rather work non-stop What they call incessantly than what's a on top So live life pleasantly Already got thoughts in my mind Not a fantasy I'm getting all got the soul So stop dropping bro Got lots of control We pop up Alright we will return Saturday the world title, John Breakdown vs. Big Daddy Beard. The Battle Queen title, Jen Richards vs. Goddess of Pain. Blitzkrieg title, the chops are on the line. Schmooze hair's on the line. A women's G6 match. But right now, let's get our blaze raid on. Head over to Atticus's channel. We're gonna blaze raid him. Also, Andy. Get your dupas over there right now. Hashtag Blaze Raid. Let's get over there right now. Let's show them how we do it. Unless I selected the wrong one. Because I am 100% sure I went and grabbed Andy. No questions in my own section, and they still disconnected because their mind's been infected, in. and they're filled with objection, too filled for recollection. So we're losing all attention. They don't know I'm in contention because I'm gaining their. Drum Monkey making his way out to the ring. Butterfly Blaze, welcome in. Hope you had a good stream, Blaze. Heh, <laughs> panty raid. You guys, see you Saturday. We're out. Kill shot, Joker. <laughs> welcome in. Thank you, guys. Butterfly, Matt Storm, Riley. Head on over and say hi to Atticus. I'll see you in my streams. We out of here.